So my name is Alex Dizan, and thank you for coming to Dizan Speaks. What I want to share with you on this first video is just following intuition and what that looked like for me personally. So right now I'm in Nanaimo, British Columbia. Super grateful, super thankful to be here. And if anyone doesn't know where that is, that's on Vancouver Island. And if you still don't know where that is, that's just on an island to the west of Vancouver. And if you still don't know where Vancouver is, well, then you should just look at a map and search up Nanaimo. So how did I get here? Yeah, it's it's pretty random. You know, growing up, I was always super close with my family. Um, even when I had an opportunity to go to the U.S. Uh, on a uh, to go play football at a D one AA school, I was afraid, and I was afraid to step out of my comfort zone. I was afraid to step away from my family and to step away from anything I knew. And so it's it's a big deal for me to really move out this far. I was living in Toronto before. I had lived there for eight out of nine years. Before that, I was in the GTA, which is the greater Toronto area, just in uh, suburbs just outside of Toronto. And I had grown up there my whole life. And I'm 34 years old now, uh, going to be 35 this year. And just before Christmas, I was with Securia, my girlfriend, partner, best friend, fiance, whichever one you want to pick, that's the one. And part of the thing before Christmas is we were at a writing workshop, first one we ever went to, but I had stepped out of my comfort zone just to go to that. There was something inside of me that said, just go to the writing group, and I did. But when I came home, when we came home, it was like 9.30 at night. And we just randomly went on YouTube and we wanted to watch some videos to watch. And so we decided to look just randomly at British Columbia videos. And we stumbled on Nanaimo. And we found two videos, 10 minutes in length for each video, both talking about Nanaimo. And it's kind of a tongue twister sometimes, Nanaimo. And we didn't really know anything, but we didn't know anything about Nanaimo. I didn't even know anything. Sakiri is from Jamaica. So for her to understand what British Columbia is and what Nanaimo and Vancouver Island is, is really a long shot, uh, at least for her in that, at that time. For me, I, I knew British Columbia. I had been here a uh, couple times in the past, once, one, once when I was eight years old and the other time when I was like 26 years old. Yeah, 25, 26 years old. And so I knew a little bit about it, but I didn't know anything. Anyway, so we watched two YouTube videos on the Nanaimo, 10 minutes each, and just went to bed right after. Just went to bed. So nothing happened. And the next morning, I was uh, got up. Sakaria was still in bed. I had gone to the couch in the living room. And I was just laying there. And I just felt like closing my eyes and just being with my breath. Just taking some breaths in and out. <sighs> kind of just like that. <sighs> it's actually really good because it's centering me right now. And I closed my eyes and I just kind of went away into my breath. And as I sat there or as I laid there, I had this like intuitive inspiration come and just talk to me. You know, it was like, move to Nanaimo. I was like, what? I had my eyes closed. This is inner dialogue that I was having. What? Move to Nanaimo. Move to Nanaimo. Honestly, at this point, financially, no idea how I was going to pay for 
two, three months rent, no idea. Wasn't really working. I, I had self-employment business, but hadn't taken off nothing. I had been laying on the couch for one year, um, processing a lot of uh, internal challenges that I had been going through. No idea about anything, especially about the future. No idea how it's going to pay, how it's going to survive. My rent was coming due in like four months. No idea where it's going to live after. Um, but this little voice just said, move to Nanaimo. And I was like, what, what? But I had enough on credit cards that I just thought about it for one second. And I was like, can I do it? And in a simple answer, it said, yes, you can. I said, yes, I can. That internal voice said, yes, you can. I was like, oh, actually, this makes more sense for the next two months than if I stay where I am. I don't know why. I just felt this inner thing inside of me. And so I ran over to Sakiria. She was on the bed. I laid in bed with her and I was shaking. I was like my whole external body was shaking so much. But I, I just knew internally, I knew that this inner voice was so right. And I told Sakiri, I was like, Sakiri, I'm shaking so much. I'm shaking. I have no idea why I'm shaking. But I just know this feels right. But everything on the outside is saying, no, be scared, be scared, be scared. But everything on the inside is like, on the inside is like just do it, just do it, just do it. And so I told her, I'm like, I have, a, I have this strong feeling we're supposed to move to Nanaimo. Don't know why, I just, I, think, I, I feel we're supposed to move there. I, look, I just thought about the money, thought about the, I'm like, everything is just saying go. And even though my body was shaking, I was just like, I know I'm shaking, but I'm just supposed to know to go. And she said, oh my God. I was like, what? She's like, last night before I was going to bed, I had this feeling that I wanted to move to Nanaimo after watching those two videos. Only 10 minutes each. She's like, I knew I wanted to move to Nanaimo, but I was praying to God and I said to God, if I am supposed to move to Nanaimo, let Alex come to me and say something. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything, but I'm going to trust that if we're supposed to go, Alex will say something. And there I was the next morning after sitting and in, laying in silence with my eyes closed. I ran up to her, laid in bed and told her that I wanted to move or we were supposed to move to Nanaimo. And I was like so excited about it. And right then and there was our answer that we were supposed to move. It was amazing. Absolutely. Like we just knew at that moment that we were gung ho all for it. So she then said to me, if you truly mean it, you'll text your landlord right now and you'll let him know and give him the notice so we can move. That was kind of big, you know, like to, to be there and to be like, like, but I didn't hesitate. I was like, okay, sure. And I went back to the couch, lay down. I love laying down on the couch. That's my favorite. I know I'm sitting up, so I was taking a lot, but like, if you watch, oh crap, can't do it. Uh, the couch actually automatically like inclines and declines. Okay, so you saw a little bit of that. Live in action. Anyways, I'm getting off track here. So I went to go text my landlord, but I something inside of me was like, don't text them, call them. So I so I was like, Securia, can I can I call them instead? Forget about text. Can I call them? She's like, Yeah, yeah, that's even better. Go do it. So I call him. Ring, ring, ring. And he picks up. And he's like, his name is Vic. And Vic picks up and he's like, oh my God. And I'm like, what? 
He's like, Alex, I was just thinking about you two minutes ago. We must be connected in some way. And I was like, wow. It was funny because I had gone to Securia. She said, oh my God. I called Vic. He said, oh my God. But they both were thinking about me or had asked for something involving me. And there I was. Right away, I knew. I knew that I was supposed to call him and I was in the most perfect place. It's exactly what I needed to do. And so I told him. I told him where I wanted to move across the country. You know, I gave him a lot. I like talking and I like giving details and I like being honest and being authentic with people and just laying it all out there. And that's who I am. And so, uh, yeah, we, we spent the next month. Um, like that day we spent time buying tickets to come to Nanaimo. We got an Airbnb for a month. No idea what would happen after that month. No idea how we pay for it. Nothing, not knowing a single thing, just knowing that we had enough money to pay for a month of Airbnb to get our travels organized, to get there and to have some food, money for food once we got there. And that made us feel comfortable. And so uh, we really didn't even have money for food, but the next few weeks were spent selling every bit of furniture, anything we had on Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji and just selling it so we had money once we got here to be able to survive on whatever food that we could buy with the money that we would hopefully make. In that time, I'm just going to bring this closer. In that time of like selling our things, at first it was like a bite here and a bite there and it wasn't really anything. But the weekend before, the last day was like a Sunday and the weekend before we moved and we would leave our place on the Tuesday. But on the Sunday, the last like four things that needed to be sold, big items, the most expensive items, four people message us on Sunday to say, hey, I want to come by this. Hey, I want to come by. Hey, I want to come by. Hey, I want to come by. And everything just aligns perfectly. It was absolutely amazing how everything just like landed on that Sunday. And it also gave us enough time that on Monday and Tuesday, we could like clean up and do things just to organize that little bit of the little bit of things that we had left and we would take uh, to her to Securi's family's place in Branton and give to them to sell whatever. It just worked out absolutely perfectly. Like everything from that moment that I decided that Nanaimo was the next move, just basing that decision on intuitive inspiration, everything aligned and lined up perfectly to get us to where we wanted to go. And that's Nanaimo. And that's where I am. That's where I'm recording this. I'm recording this in the first Airbnb that we bought where we only had one month of money to purchase this place. That's where I'm recording. I got another, we have another week and a half left here. No way. We have one week at another place now, which we randomly Securia got paid by the government and have enough to buy one week's worth of Airbnb just in the North place of Nanaimo. And again, no idea how we're going to pay for anything after that, but we're just trusting and the reason I say we're trusting is because if everything that has happened to this point has led us to this point, if it's not testament that faith always provides, that truth and trust always provides and believing in something more, whether it's God, Allah, Buddha, Jesus, doesn't matter what you believe in. If it's the carpet, if it's sky, believe whatever you want. But just believing in something more than myself has led me on a path of self-discovery. And I've learned so much about myself since moving here. 
and it's absolutely amazing and we can I can continue talking forever about that but this video is really about just that intuitive inspiration to trust myself and to go after what I desired and that's going to Nanaimo and not knowing what Nanaimo meant but just knowing that it was that it involved nature and knowing that nature is one with God and nature is natural it just occurs in the environment there's so much healing that's taken place already and that's going to take place and i'm super grateful for that i just want to take a moment here and just be grateful for the chance to listen to myself in the past i w i heard this voice talk so much and i would have never trusted that that voice would lead me on a path of self-discovery and a path of insight and love and peace and contentment. But being here in Nanaimo is absolutely amazing. I'm super grateful, super thankful that I trusted that voice. I'm super thankful and grateful to be here with Securia. I know that everything we're doing is just leading us down the right path. And the more I actually trust that inner feeling to guide me, including this video, this video is a perfect example of how I just trusted that this first video, I'm supposed to talk about this. I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to share that intuitive inspiration. And really this video is, it's not meant for you. This video is really meant for myself. It's really meant for me to remember that intuitive inspiration that I followed and that little voice inside that I can always follow and know that it's always leading me on a path that always leads to greener pastures. And the greener pastures doesn't mean that it doesn't come with challenges and difficulties. But once we get over, once I get over those challenges and difficulties, the green, the grass just gets greener. I, I, it's almost like highlighter green. And then it just keeps getting more and more. And just like these shades of green that just continue to evolve, continue to grow, continue to get more vibrance and, and just a better experience for me to see this green pasture. And I'm, again, I'm just super grateful. There's nothing else I can say than just give the utmost gratitude for where I am and just loving life and loving who I'm becoming on this journey and just grateful, grateful, grateful. And I can thank God. I can thank Jesus. I can thank Buddha. I can thank Alan Watts. I can thank myself. I can thank Nanaimo. I can thank British Columbia. I can thank Securia. I can thank my parents. I can thank my sister. I can thank every single person that has been part of my life. I can thank them for getting me to this point that I can be here to talk to you, but really to talk to myself, to know the person I'm becoming and to just be grateful for every moment and who I'm becoming in the, on this path, in this journey and just super grateful, man. Just thank you. Thank you for just being here and, and being by my side and, I appreciate just talking to you, letting you know that I love you and that I've gone through a lot of challenges and a lot of difficulties to get to this point where I can trust myself. And sometimes I lose sight of that. But when I, when I find that trust and that faith, It's not comparable to anything other than just true bliss, true ecstasy, but not even like to that point of like, oh, like it's just so content, so peaceful to be here, to be
to talk to all of you and myself, to talk to God, to know that I just get to express myself the way I show up to record a video like this and to put it out into the world just because it's something I wanted to do. Just because it fulfills me, just because it makes me feel happy, content, peaceful. I love those words. And the more I continue to talk, the more connected I feel with myself. That's why this video just keeps going and going and going. And now it's just turning into like an area where I get to talk. And it's just so fulfilling to know that I enjoy talking and this is part of it. This is part of my journey is just being able to express myself in the most real and authentic way I know how. I'm just going to talk about this because it's coming up and, and, you know, we talk about success. We talk about dreams and what, what does a dream mean? What does success mean? And what does it really look like? And, and success is not, nothing other than what you think it is or what I think it is. And I'll speak for myself because uh, success is really what I think it is. And it's like sometimes like I watch reels and sometimes it's like, what's the number one advice you give to people or give to the world. And if I had to give my number one advice to the world, to each and every one of you, the advice I would give is that make it your own. <laughs> make it your own. How, whatever that means to you, make it your own. I don't even know what it is that you're thinking about or what you're going through right now and you're sitting there going, the hell is, how did he know I was... Or how did he does he doesn't make any sense? What it make it your own, whatever that is, make it your own, and just like just make it your own. Like I have no way of sharing anything with you other than make it your own. Like and and just making it my own is what has fulfilled me, what has relieved me, what has turned my challenges into opportunities, made my difficulties into triumphs. Like it's just an absolute amazing experience to know that I can just choose to live the life I want. I can make it my own. And the, actually the more I make it my own, the better it gets. The more I trust myself, the better it gets. The more I do what I want, the better it gets. The more I choose happiness, the better it gets. Like it just keeps getting better, better and better. And Sakiri and I always say that life keeps getting better, better and better. And it does. Like doing a simple affirmation like that together whenever some one of us says life is good and then the other person goes, keeps getting and then we both go better better and better and we just keep doing that and it actually does it works people talk about affirmations they talk about like dreaming big and and believing in yourself it's true man it's so true just do it just do it just take the time to do it it's good man and like i can and i'll continue talking i'll like not on this video or like I'll end the video now just so you guys can take a breather so I can take a breather but like stay tuned like this is the first of so many videos and I'm excited to share like my heart with all of you and and just to talk about whatever happens you know I I am starting a, a podcast as well called emotional encounters where I'm gonna have guests come on and they're just gonna talk about themselves, their stories, what they've been through, what they're experiencing. And I just find that, you know, we, we always look to people who are successful and, 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 uh, icons and, 
movie stars or whatever it is, some people up there and you and looking at them to uh, get stories of like resilience and courage and perseverance and vulnerability. And I'm just going to invite average people, the regular people in their everyday life. I'm going to bring them on to emotional encounters and we're going to find that they have so many interesting experiences and stories that they've not shared with the world. And that's what emotional encounters is about. It's just an opportunity for, for the, regular people out there to come on to share what they've gone through and it doesn't need to be their successes it could be their challenges and i just want vulnerability to be the core piece of this channel and whether it's myself and talking from my heart and just being honest with each and every one of you or going on to emotional encounters and listening to a podcast where you can hear the guy next door, the girl next door, you can hear the coworker that you've been working with for one year or 10 years or 20 years, talk about their struggles and their triumphs and what they've been through and who their family is and why they're here and what their purpose is and what are they passionate about. It's like learning about the everyday salesperson or the teacher or the principal or the engineer or the delivery man. It doesn't matter who you are, what you do, where you are, or even how you are. Emotional Encounters is my podcast that I'm creating that you get an opportunity, whether you're going to be a guest and you reach out to me or um, that I invite you to be a guest if I just randomly uh, talk to you and something sparks. Again, intuitive inspiration is going to be my guide, whether it's Emotional Encounters or Holistic Prosperity Coaching, which is my coaching platform on DesanSpeaks.com. Um it's, it's, I'm just allowing intuitive inspiration to guide me, to let me know what path I am going to take. So just want to thank you all for coming here. Um, stay tuned. If you like me just expressing what I, uh, what I feel and however that is in the moment, if you enjoy just listening to authenticity and realness, just continue coming back here and just listening to my videos. I'm excited uh, to have that podcast. I'm excited to start Holistic Prosperity Coaching, which is my coaching platform. Um, I haven't started speaking engagements yet, but it's something that I'm open to. And uh, I'm going to let God be the deter uh, to determine which way I'm going to go in life. And whether I stay in Nanaimo or not, I love Nanaimo. I would love to stay here. I'm doing a lot of dream building uh, in this area. But if God has some other plan for me, I'm open to that as well. I'm just thankful that I am here. I have life that God has given me an opportunity to be here to talk to each and every one of you. And thank you so much for listening. All right. See you later.